So here I am in um, Luxmore's Garden, Eton. So Luxmore was an Eton housemaster, and this was swamp land. And over years, he turned it into something delightful, um, into this resplendent garden. And then he died, um, and it had been reclaimed from the mire. But then he posed, and then his house posed for a photo here in Luxmore's Garden. And Luxmore's ghost supposedly appeared in the photo. And I haven't been here for 22 years. It's forbidden. It says Eton College community only. And I was walking towards here past sort of fellows eight and there were two middle-aged men walking somewhere ahead of me presumably they've got the right to be here eaten beaks or whatever so I was somewhere behind them they crossed over the bridge not this bridge the other one and um, they they waited there till I turned away and I saw them sitting on a bench over there so um, because it says Eaton College community only being an old boy obviously doesn't make me one I could seek special permission to visit it and they're over there so my tutor Angus Graham Campbell took me here told me all about it. That's Baldwin's Beck house over there, the nearest one, College Chapel behind. And this stream is very, very low in the summer. And, and in the bushes, the boys of Baldwin's Beck, they built some sort of little bridge of stepping stones to get across. I used to know where it is. Obviously you can't afford it in the winter because it's way too deep. So that's it, highly exciting. I have to leave by that bridge I showed you when I came in. This is the Judas tree, it's of the kind that Judas um, Iscariot supposedly hanged himself from. When he was so overcome by guilt for for betraying Jesus Christ. Anyway, if they catch me, I'll just feign ignorance, put on a foreign accent, say I don't speak English. They'll just tell me to leave. But what a thrill, what childish japes. So how poor I am I'm recapturing my my boyhood by coming here. And that little stream separates it from Eaton High Street. So I think this is actually an eight, even though the map doesn't show it as one. So I'm sort of trying to keep low behind bushes, looking out, listening out, trying to make as little noise as possible. See, that wooden wall marks the end of Worksmore's Garden, more of Eden High Street on the other side of that uh, rivulet. Greenhouses, there's private property over there, not even belonging to Eden. So more things on that, what would you call it? Trestle, they could grow. So it's not huge actually, Luxmore's Garden, but forbidden. Once I tried to get here illegally before that summer of 97, there was some garden party here hosted by the conductors at the head chaplain, and he had like a yellow card with your invitation, and I was going with these two girls, I remember their names, Hattie, someone, and Alice Wright, but I didn't have an invitation, I had a piece of yellow card and wanted to hand it to the boy who was on the gate, just he wouldn't look at it, but they didn't run before him for a minute, but I managed to ford this place through the bushes, through the undergrowth, through those stepping stones to this island, and post in the balaclava, trying to float and float inflated condoms down the river, the procession of boats, they kept bursting, but nevertheless, right at the end of this island, I was posing and clapping and nobody realised it was me and I saw two men looking like they were bent on some serious measures walking towards me hastily within the far side of the river. What I didn't realise now is they couldn't have reached me but I got away with it. I ran away through the bushes and I forded the river again and um, this is how I came. So that's Baldwin's end of that house there and College Chapel. The other bridge is around there you can't see from this angle the other side of those bushes and so on, the brew house gallery and things like that. Okay, I'll switch it off now.